Hi guys, it's Hannah at A Game of Thangs, Thangs and Thrones and welcome back to another video. Now as you can tell by today's, by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing my 2020 bookshelf tour. Now just to answer a few basic questions before we get into it, I have this big bookshelf here from Argos I believe. I have one just off camera here which is actually a converted uh, shoe stand again I think it's from Argos and then right in the far corner is a CD slash DVD media centre case um, yeah <laughs> so let's just get right into it now I'm not going to pull out every single book because that would take far too long and if you've seen my T uh, my TBR video of all my unread books, you'll guess that I you'll see that I have around a hundred and thirty. Could be wrong, uh, but I know I've just filmed my balance in the books video and the TBR current at the time of filming that and th and this video because I'm filming straight after each other. Uh, the t the physical TBR stands at one hundred and thirty one. And I have, and I like to think I have more red books than unread books. So obviously that takes up space on the, on the bookcase, and this is going to be a long enough video on its own. Uh, so let's just get into into it. Um, and I will apologise now for any shakiness of the camera. I film on my phone, and I don't have a tripod. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'll start with a brief overview of the big shelf. Um, this here is an oh, fingerprint. Uh, this this here is an old cabin bed that we aren't able to get rid of. Um, just yet because the because I need the space underneath it. I need the wardrobe that came attached to the bed. Um, so about so we have. At this big shelf here which is what you see in the background of my videos ignore all the rubbish on the floor and then underneath underneath the bed now this will get dark and I do apologize and um, we have two more little bookcase shelf things um things masquerading as bookcases so at the top um I'm gonna just go through them the little pots here here and here are all from a Luma crate. Uh, the book ends, I uh, can't see, but there is one on this side as well. Here we go, are from the Cruel Prince. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The Cruel Prince um, special edition, for, uh, special edition and Luma crate box as well. So at the top, we have uh, We Are Blood and Thunder by Kezia Lepore. The Last Namsara and the Caged Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. The first three books in the Sumner series by Taran Mathieu. Uh, the Novice, The Inquisitor and The Battle Mage. Haven't read any of those. Then we have the Vampire Academy books. Uh, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, A Shadow Kiss, Spirit Bound, Blood Promise and Last Sacrifice. Which I have read. And they were all by Rochelle Mead. Um, they are a bit of a comfort read those ones and I absolutely adore the ending of Last Sacrifice and we'll just move this out of the way very quickly and then you'll see Three Dark Crowns um, series which is Three Dark Crowns, Two Dark Reigns, One Dark Throne, Five Dark Fates and you can't see, oh can you see it? Yep, I also have the novellas the Queens of Fennyburn, all by Kendara Blake. I haven't read any of them. Then on the next... I've just lost my hat. Uh, then on the next stack, we have A Strange Grace by Tessa Grattan. The first two books in the Devabad trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. The Kingdom of Brass, the, Kingdom, the City of Brass and the Kingdom of Copper. And we have Mackenzie Lee's The Gentleman Guide, Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, 
which neither of which I have read. Then we go into my George R. R. Martin collection. Uh, at the top we have The Fever Dream, which I haven't read. Uh, then we get into the game of the Game of Thrones, which yes, my channel name is slightly inspired by. Uh, but we have A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, which is the only one I haven't read. And so then we have A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, Storm of Swords Part 1, Steel and Snow, Storm and Swords Part 2, Blood and Gold, Feast for Crows, Dance of Dragons 1, Dreams and Dust, and Part 2, After the Feast. And then we have... <laughs> This amazing tea towel slash tapestry uh, with Arya's list on it. Um, that's from Illumicrate as well. And then the last stack is uh, my Rimble Rowl collection, Fangirl, Carry On, which I have read, uh, Wayward Sun, which I haven't, um, and two PC cast books, Goddess of Legend and Goddess of Spring. Uh, Red Goddess of Spring, I haven't read Goddess of Legend. Uh, Wicked and Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire. Red Wicked, haven't read Son of a Witch. The next two books, Secret Society and Secret Kingdom, are books that I've written myself. Um, and if you want to see a video on them and the process, just let me know. Then we have A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini, uh, I haven't read... Age of Witches by Louisa Morgan, The Binding, Bridget Collins, just move this out of the way, A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes, The Familiars by Stacey Halls, I do have The Foundling but it's on Kindle, uh, then three books that I haven't heard um, anything on Booktube by Sylvia Hunter, The Midnight Queen, Lady of Magic and A Season of Spells. And then, just move this out the way, uh, we have the Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver, Delirium, Pandemonium and Requiem, and the Delirium Stories, uh, Hannah, Annabelle and Raven, and then we have a book by John and Carol Barrowman, Nephilim, then the 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow, I uh, haven't read, the only ones of them I have read are Delirium and yeah, I think I've read Pandemonium but I can't remember. The next shelf has a little, has a book, has two book tins and I can't remember if these were Fairy Loot or Illumicrate and I also have a pin, a magnetic pin uh, which just sits there. I'm going to get up and close, up and personal, otherwise the tea towel's in the way. Uh, so we have uh, Chocolat by Joanne Harris, which I haven't read. Then my Philippa Gregory collection, White Queen, Taming of the Queen, Other Bilingual, Red Queen, all read. Uh, Tidelands and Order of Darkness, haven't read. Just move that out the way. So then we have... Oh, uh, a little Nether Night inspired fan, so that just sits there. I don't know if you saw that, but <laughs> then we have Slay by Brittany Morris, uh, The Mermaid, The Witch, and The Sea by Maggie Takuda Hall. Haven't read. Then we have the Rivers of London series by Ben Aronovich, which I haven't read, and I think I am missing some. Uh, we have Rivers of London, Moon Over Soho, Whispers Underground, Foxglove Summer, Lies Sleeping, and Broken Homes. Then we have uh, the Nevernight Trilogy by Jay Kristoff, Nevernight God's Grave da and Dark Dawn. And we have a bright pink thriller, uh, The Alibi Girl by CJ Suski. Then over here, we'll just slide that out the way. We have Pawn by Amy Carter and the Red Rising series by P.S. Brown. Red Rising, Golden Sun, Morning Star, Iron Age. Iron Gold and Dark Age. And in this stack here, we have the two John Green books I own. Uh, Fault in Our Stars, Red, Paper Towns, Haven't. Uh, the Curse... Oh, Glee. Uh, a Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer. Haven't read. 
Um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. Uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Hollow City, Library of Souls, and Map of Days. And then we also have Alona Andrews, um, Iron and Magic. Tea towel. <laughs> why did I? Why did I think putting a tea was a good idea? Uh, but we have the Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safan. Did read uh, Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Adiemi. Haven't read yet. Uh, the Selection series by Kira Cass. Selection Elite the One the A. Have read the Crown Happily Ever After. Haven't read. And then we have my teeny tiny little V Schwab collection. Uh, the Near Witch, Darker Shade of Magic, Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light. I haven't read any of those. Uh, then we have Are We All a Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. The oh, and then The Orphanage of God by Helena Coggan. I haven't read either of those. Then we have uh, two books in the Twisted Disney series by Liz Braswell. Once Upon a Time, which is a Sleeping Beauty uh, retelling, and As Old as Time, which is Beauty and the Beast. I've uh, read both of those. Room by Emma Donoghue, haven't read. Adam Silvera's Infinity Sun, which I have read, and I've got this one in Fairy Loot or Illumicrate. I um, can't remember which. And then we have Black Wings Beating by, is it Alex? Alex London, I uh, have read and I am trying to find the next books in the series so I can continue. Then we have the Cassandra Clare selection, uh, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, Lady Midnight, uh, which are all the Infernal Devices trilogy, the Dark Artifices trilogy, which includes Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. And yes, it does slightly bug me that they are all different sizes, but you know, deal with it. <laughs> then we have the Mortal Instruments series City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. I've read all of those. Chain of Gold, I haven't read, but it is a chunker. Um, the Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clay, Sarah Reese Brennan, and is it Marie? I'm not pulling it out, <laughs> but I've read that one. Um, Ghosts of the Shadow Market, I haven't read. Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, I have read. Uh, then we have the Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clay and Wesley Shu. Haven't read. Then the Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clay and Simon Lewis. Have read. Then we have It Will Fall. And because I have the it's stuck and I can't remember who wrote it. Uh, then we have Havenfall by Sarah Holland. My three Adrienne Young books, Sky in the Deep, The Girl the Sea Gave Back, and her new one, Fable. Then we have my day oh, then we have a little arc hiding here of Wicked As You Wish by Runch Peckle. And then we have my David Eddins collection. We have the Belregard, uh, which is Pawn of Prophecy, Queen of Sorcery, Magician's Gambit, Castle of Wizardry, and Enchanter's Endgame. Then we have the Malorian, which is the second series. It's sort of a continuation of the Belregard. And that is uh, King of the Murgos, Demon Lord of Coranda, Sorceress of Dashiva, and Seeress of Kel. I've read all of the David Edmund books, Wicked As You Wish, Havenfall and It Will Fall. Then we have my Maria uh, V. Schneider collection, Touch of Power, Scent of Magic, Taste of Darkness, which is the Avery of Kazan trilogy. I uh, have read, do recommend. Uh, then we have Poison, then we have the Chronicles of Ixia series, uh, which, is a ba which is a couple of different trilogies and series all in one. Sorry, I'm... Legs just going to sleep. Uh, we have Poison Study, Magic Study, Fire Study, Stormglass, Sea Glass, Spyglass, which I've all read. And then we have Shadow Study, Night Study, Dawn Study, which I haven't. This one here is 
Um, my Sarah J Mass collection, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, have read. Uh, Empire of Storms, I think I have. I seem to remember that reading it, or at least trying to. Uh, Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash, which are all the Throne of Glass series. Then we have the Chunker, which is Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood, which I haven't read. Uh, we have, oh, and we also have the novella collection of Throne of Glass, which is the Assassin's Blade. Uh, then we have my Running Adier collection, uh, which is the Beautiful in this gorgeous alternative cover with the red persuade edges. Then we have The Wrath and the Dawn, Rose and the Dagger by Rene Adier. Then we have the His Dark Materials and Book of Dust collection by Philip Pullman. Golden Compass, Subtle Knife, Amber Spyglass. Um, they're all dark materials, which I have read, as you can probably tell by how beat up these spines are. Um, then we have The Book of Dust, Volume 1, The Belle Sauvage, which I have read. Uh, volume 2... Is the Secret Commonwealth haven't read yet. Uh, the Bells by Danielle Clayton and Fury Bomb by Claire Legrand have read. Uh, Cacho's Wicked Fox have read. Uh, Gideon the Ninth by Thames and Watt have read. This is Born Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy, which I have read. Woven in Midnight. I want to say, but I think I think it's woven in moonlight uh, by Isabel Marquez, and it is doo -doo -doo. woven in moonlight. Uh, we'll just put that back up there. Put it back properly later. And uh, then we have Serpent and Dove and Blood and Honey by Shelby Moharin. Uh, read Serpent and Dove. Haven't read Blood and Honey. And then we have Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Um, more fairy loot and Illumicrate hardbacks with a couple of random ones at the bottom. Well, mixed in, I should say. Uh, Angel Mage by Garth Nix, Red. Girl in the Stars by Mark Lawrence, Red. Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb, Red. Blood Air by Emily Wenjo, have read Space Between Worlds uh, by Micaiah Johnson, Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron, and Sanctuary by V.V. James, haven't read. Uh, Midnight Lie by Marie Rukowski, have read. Uh, River of Souls by Amanda Joy, have read. Uh, Kester Grant's Court of Miracles, haven't. Then the Pan's Labyrinth ed um, Illustrated Edition, by Guillermo del Toro and Cornelia Funk have read. Uh, then we have a, then the rest of these I have read. Uh, we have Shadows Between Us by Trish Levenseller. Incendiary by Cor uh, Corid Is it Corida Sosova. I can't remember the name. Sorry. Uh, Merciful Crow by Melissa L. Owens. So read a code over, that's it. Uh, then we have the Caravel books by Stephanie Garver, Caravel, Legendary and Finale. And you'll notice that I normally go one, two, three as in Golden Compass and the rest of my series. But that one is the opposite round because it spells Caravel. Uh, in the corner here. We have Mena Van Prague's The Sisters Grimm, uh, which I have read. Star Daughter by Shveta Thakura and Shielded by Kaylin Flanders, which I haven't read. The book that you can't see that is holding this stack up, no, it's not magic, as much as I wish it was, is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And that's a teeny tiny little Mass Margaret paperback that is doing a great job. And my, I just turned my flash on. Oh, light. Uh, then we have A Star of the Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which I have read. Then the last four books are all by Holly Black, and I haven't read. And that's The Modern Fairy Tales, which includes Tithe. I can't remember the other two. And then we have the Cruel Prince series of Folk of the Air trilogy. Cruel Prince, Wicked Prince, Wicked King and Queen of Nothing. Uh, then down in this little nook. We have 
um, four DC Icons books by various authors. Uh, Superman Dawnbreaker by Matt de la Plena. Sarah J. Mass's Catwoman Soul Stealer. Marie Lowe's Batman Nightwalker. Then Lee Bardo- Bardugo's Wonder Woman Warbringer. Uh, the Illuminaries by El Catton. Uh, two Samantha Shannon books, Priory the Orange Tree and Born Season. We have A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. And then the white covers, this one, this one and this one, are The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings and The Two Towers. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and Return of the King. And then right in the corner there is the Gilded Ones by Nanina Fauna. And then on top of the notebook cases, the first of two, uh, we have Wilder Girls by Rory Power, which I have read. Not recommended if you have health anxiety and it is very body, body horror. Uh, then we have three Carrie Hope Fletcher books, all that you can see on the other side, and When the Curtain Falls. Only one I haven't read is When the Curtain Falls. Then we have the Shatter Me series by Tahira Maffey, the two bind-ups, Unite Me and Find Me. Then we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, Imagine Me. Then Alison A.G. Howard, and I think it's Alison, but I could be wrong. Um, her Splintered series, well, trilogy, uh, which is a dark retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, we have Splintered, Unhinged, Ensnared and Untamed. Untamed is a collection of, of um, short stories in the same world, or novellas. Uh, then we have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, uh, which I haven't read. Dread Nation and Deathless Divide by Justina Ireland. Tattooed Heart and Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant. The first two books in the Nightwatch trilogy, although I do believe it's now a series, by Sergio Lukievenko. And that's the Daywatch and the Nightwatch. I haven't read, which is why I still have stickers on. Um, the Age of Legends trilogy by Kelly Armstrong, Sea of Shadows, Empire of Night and Forest of Ruin. I uh, read all three of those. Then Once in Future and Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I have read Once in Future, haven't read Sword in the Stars. Then this little shelf here is The Book Thief by Marcus Souza, Girl King by Mimi Yu, um, Elna Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, The, Girl Who, the Rest of the Story by Sarah Dessen, The Girl Who, Ki- Who Saved the King of Sweden by Jonas Johansson, Sebastian Fox is a bird song, uh, read all of those. And then we have Moira Young's Dust Dance seri- uh, trilogy, which is Blood Red Road, Rebel Heart, Raging Star. I haven't read Raging Star yet. Then we have the uh, Etiquette and Espionage series by Gail Carragher. Etiquette and Espionage, Curses and Conspiracies, Waistcoats and Weaponry and Manners in Mutiny. They are so funny. Uh, then we have the Graceland series by Kristen Cashaw. Uh, Graceland, Fire and Bitter Bloom. And then underneath, if we just get your butt out of the way and, ha- and squish the dragon down, uh, we have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Then Maggie Stewart uh, collection, uh, Scorpio Racers, Shiver, Linger Forever and Sinner. Sitting right next to my Dan Brown books, uh, Digital Fortress, Da Vinci Code... Angels and Demons and the Lost Symbol. And then we have the Young Elite Trilogy by Murray Lou, Young Elite Rose Society Midnight Star. Then the two Angie Thomas books are The Hate You Give and On the Come Up. And are they, are they both? I know On the Come Up has the sprayed edges, but I don't think this one does. No. Then right and then right at the bottom we have Jay Asher's 13 Reasons Why, Brandon, San- Brandon Sanderson's Skyward and the Dragon. <laughs> it's the Light Fury from How to Train Your Dragon series. 
Um, she can go there for now. <laughs> then we have Marissa Meyer's Heartless Dracula by Bram Stoker. Night Crossing series by Charlene Harris. Night Night Shift, Day Shift, Midnight Crossroad. Uh, Fragile Things by Neil Gaiman. The Graveyard Book and Stardust. Then we have The Good Omens with uh, Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Labyrinth by Kate Moss, The Burning Chambers by Kate Moss, then Stephen Fry's Mythos and Heroes. Then we get on to the Terry Pratchett Discworld collection, and I don't have all of them. Uh, the Wee Feeman, Hatful of Sky, Wintersmith, I Shall Wear Midnight, The Fifth Elephant, uh, Hogfather, Sorcery, Ruperman, Life Fantastic, Guards, Guards, Equal Rights, The Last Continent, and I don't think Dark Side of the Sun is technically Discworld. Uh, then we have The Colour of Magic, Thief of Time, Moving Pictures, uh, The Science of Discworld 2, The Globe, Masquerade, Mort, The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents. Then we have... Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale, Michael Malpago's Amazing Story of Adolphus Tips, Eon and Iona by Alison Goodman, Jen Campbell's uh, The Beginning of the World at the Middle of the Night, Steampunk, which is a bind-up of steampunk short stories, edited, edited by Link and Grant. Then The New Voices of Fantasy, again, that's a bind that is a collection of novellas. All with a fantasy twist. Then right at the bottom we have the thing will focus. Uh, the Year of the Rat by Claire Furness. George O. Moyes as Me Before You. Fairy Tale 1 and 2. And I'm not going to attempt the name. Uh, Spice and Wolf Volume 1 and 2. And Fruits Basket Volume 1. So, yep, uh, that's a flattering angle, isn't it? <laughs> so, we've had a bit of a location change, and I hope you enjoy. And now I've got to find some way of putting all those different clips together because I press pressing, I kept pressing the wrong button when I was moving from shelf to shelf. So that's gonna be fun, and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.